Okay, so today we're going to have a look at uh, 2019 question 1. So, a pictorial view of mobile lunar camera shown in figure 1, which is here. Also shown is the 3D graphic of the camera, which is the little one down here in the corner. So we're asked to draw an elevation in the direction of arrow A, draw a plan from the elevation, and project an end view in the direction of arrow B. And for the final part, we're uh, asked to determine the true shape of surface S, which is this shape here in grey. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out where we're going to start our elevation on the page. So a handy trick I always learned was, see the way arrow A is pointing to the left? That's where we're going to draw our elevation is on the left hand side of the page. And arrow B is pointing to the right, so we're going to have our end view on the right hand side of the page. So we have our elevation and our end view and our plan underneath our elevation. Okay, so, get straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is draw our XY line. And the height of our, the overall width of our lunar camera is 220. So just mark that half so you make sure you have enough space. Okay, and the length of our tracks is 170, so I'm just going to mark off 170. And then we'll start into it with, it's up 40. I'm going to measure the halfway because we're going to need that in a while. Same here, up 40. And then we're going to join that across. Like so. So then we need to draw in our curves on the end of the track. So we're not given a radius, but we are given the height, which is 40. So from here to here is 40. So the radius is half the diameter if that was a full circle. So it's radius 20. So we set our compass to 20. And all, then we need to draw our line across very lightly, marking 20 for a compass, flip it around and draw in our curve. Like so. Do the same here. Turn our compass. Drawing curve. Okay, next we need to look at our overall heights. So from here, we measure up 10. So it's 10, and 25, and then 40. Okay, we can draw our line. Straight across then, nice and light because we don't know where it finishes yet. Uh, we measure across 50. And then 25. And from this 25 line down, we're joining it down to this 10 line here. Like so. And we also need to be very careful with this question because the main body of it isn't actually on the ground, only the tracks are on the ground. So if you see here, the body is up 10 millimeters. So we need to measure up 10 millimeters. Just draw a very light line. Right the front. That's going to be a dotted line all the way through here because it's hidden detail. Like so. I'm just going to have you in this line so you can see a bit better. So from up here then, we're at this curve here, this semicircle. So it's radius 45. This will just appear as a rectangle in our elevation. So I'm going to measure out 45. And then below that, I'm going to measure out 37. Okay. So 
45 and that's 10 mil thick and 10 mil and I'm just going to extend this line down so now we need to measure out 37 bring this line down and our 25 line over here is our height for that Okay, so we extend that out lightly. Just go darken this in for you. Like right that. So the front part, the bonnet we call it, is sloping. Okay, so we're not giving the exact point here, like just measure across whatever, we're not giving that, but we are giving the length of our sloping. Uh, face which is 70 at 70 from this front corner here which when you look at the back part of the drawing is up 10 off the tracks okay so we can just bring that 10 line the whole way across where it hits our front corner so we need to measure out 20 from the tracks and up or up 50 so this point is 50 millimeters because 10 plus 40 okay so that's what I'm going to do next Measure out 20. Draw my line up vertical, nice and light because I don't know where it finishes. I'm going to 10 line across. That gives me this point here. Okay, and don't forget it's up 10 mil off the ground. Like so. So what we need to do next is, we need to set our compass to 70. From this point here then, strike it off like that. That'll give you that point. So next we need to look at the camera part, which is this. So our camera is intersecting that part. Okay, so to us it's just going to look like a straight line, and this will be a straight line on the end, and so on. So the centre of it, if you look, is also on this line here, the same as the corner point. So, and it comes out 30 millimetres. So, I'm going to measure out 30. I'll draw a line vertical, and the diameter or the radius is 20. So I'm going to measure 20 either side of it, giving us a radius or diameter 40. So, okay, let's just measure join the back to the body. Like so. Sorry, actually, my apologies, it's going off the same height as the, the track. No, sorry, it's right, sorry, my apologies. Okay, so our next step then is the plan. So we need to bring down all our lines, so I'm just going to make square this way. Okay, so I'm only going to come down 15 millimeters because it's quite a big drawn. Okay, so the width of our track is 25. I got 25. The width of the body is 90. Then our bottom track is also 25. 
Okay, so we only need to bring the tracks as far as here. Same on the bottom. And heavy doors in. Okay, so that's the tracks finished. Our next step is for to get the curve on the top of the roof, the semicircle. Okay. So we have this high here that's just sloping down in the elevation, and this is our center point here. So we need to get half of 90, which is 45. Then set our compass to 45. Drawing our curve. Then we also need to set it to radius 37. So this is going to be a dotted line because you can't actually see it from the top. It's going to be hidden detail. Just like that. Okay. So, in order to get the front part, extend them in completely. You need to measure in 12. Like that, because this is our true shape of this. This is the surface we're going to have to do later on. Like that. And we need to get our curve here. But in order to get this, we're going to have to move on to our in view first, okay? So I'm just going to draw down our 45 degree line. So, yeah. Yeah, so then we need to bring all our points across nice and light because the, the lighter the lines the neater it is From there then, we can bring them up for you. Like that. So then we need to take our heights from our elevation. So for the tracks first. That's our tracks finished. Like so. Next, oh, well, we also need, we can draw in our underbody. That's under here. We can bring in our overall height. And bring our lines up so it's the same on the same line as the tracks, which is there, and the height of that part is there. So from there to there will be heavy. Like so. Then we need to bring across the lower part of the windshield. Up. And bring it 
across our height, which is here. So that there is the high run screen. Oh yeah, so I'm just going to darken the hook and leave it easier to see. So the next thing we need to draw in is the camera. So in the end view, it's just going to look like a circle. And the way we get a circle is just by bringing across the height. And we know it's in the center. So it's really centered. Draw a radius 20 circle. Now this is a very important part. We need to get our finished end view, which will be will it look like a parabola looking down the top. So what we need to do is we need to divide this up into 12 equal parts, so use our 30 60 set square. And the next thing we want to do, which is very, very important, is to label them. So 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 and 0. I always go on the same one. So you could label these with letters, names, whatever you want. Once you label them, that's the main thing. So we're going to start with zero. So we already have the line drawn in and across. So extend that out. When you bring zero across, zero there. Bring it down. So now we have our front face. So it's all along the one line. Okay, so we're focusing where it crosses here. So there is zero. Okay, that point there. Zero, and there's zero. Okay. Next point we're going to look at is one. Down the line. Bring across. I'm to bring point one across here. To where it crosses over our slanted face. Bring it down the vertical to where it crosses over our one line. So that becomes number one. Do the same for three. And three goes across to where it hits. <clears throat> Which is here. So when you bring that down. And three. You do the same the whole way around in four. So what's very important to not here from below three it's irrelevant, okay? Because it's not on the slanting face, so it's just going to it looks straight down, okay? There's no curve. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to go back to it. So we start at zero, we done one and two, there's zero, there's one. Sorry, I actually forgot to bring it down and across, and across here. There, bring it down. Here's point two. We'll do the same then, going back to it. So point eleven, bring it down. Bring it across, bring it across here. So 11 comes across, 11 and 1 are on the same line. It's across here, it comes down, 
and they cross over there. So that's point 11. Point 10 comes across and down. It's on the same line as two. So you just need to bring down point 10. Bring it across. <clears throat> and where the two of them cross, that'll give you point 10. Nine then. It's the last point we're going to need. Bring it down. Across. And when you bring nine across there, it's going to be on this point. When you bring that down, that'll mean there. It's point, sorry. There. There is point nine. Okay, the last thing to do then is join them up. So what you're joining them up freehand. But also we need to extend the out the rest of the way. So it's just going to be straight out like that. Okay, and that is that question finished. Okay, thanks for listening.